Hey everyone, welcome back to Effect for You channel. Today, we are going to create 3D photo memories slideshow like this. So let's get started. First create a new comp. I call this main comp. Now create a new composition. I call this main media one. And drag your main image into the timeline. Resize according to the comp. Select rectangle tool. Double click to create perfect rectangle. Now open shape layer and increase roundness around 100. Now create a new comp. I call this BG1 comp. Now drag main media 1 comp into the BG1 comp timeline. Now go to main comp and drag BG1 comp into the timeline. Now apply tint effect. And fast blur effect. Blur radius around 4. And turn on 3D icon. Go to 2 view horizontal. And move Z position back side of the comp. And increase the size. Now drag main media 1 comp into the timeline. Turn on 3D icon and move Z position little bit back side of the comp. And rotate the Z rotation little bit. Now create a new comp. Width around 1700 pixels. This is our media 2 comp. Drag your image into the timer line. And resize according to comp. Now select rectangle tool and create a stroke around the comp. Open rectangle path and increase the roundness. Now go to main comp and drag media 2 comp into the timer line. And turn on 3D icon, now resize the layer and adjust left side of the composition. You can also adjust the Z rotation. Now duplicate media to comp layer. Then go to project window and also duplicate media to comp here. Now hold alt key and drag media 3 comp into the timer line. It will replace our duplicate media to layer. Open media 3 and change your image. And adjust other side of the comp. Now create a new comp. I call this brush comp. Here I have some elements. So drag brush element into the timer line. Resize according to the comp. Now create another new composition. I call this brush mat. Select pen tool and create a stroke like this. and increase stroke pixels around 500. Now select the layer and search linear wipe effect. Go to first frame and add a keyframe and change transition completion 100%. Then go to one second forward and amount 0%. Select both keyframe and easy ease them. And make your graph like this.
Now search rough and edges effect. Border on mount 190. Scale 20. And stretch amount 40. And complexity 10. Perfect. Now go to brush comp. And drag brush mat comp into the timeline. Select brush layer and change track mat, alpha mat. Now go to main comp and drag brush comp into the timeline and search tint effect. Change matte black to white and turn on 3D icon and move Z position close to our main image and resize and adjust according to you. Now create a new comp this is our text one comp. Select text tool and type your text. Open text layer and add opacity. Change opacity 0%. Then add expression selector. Open expression selector. Here I have delay expression. So copy the expression. Hold alt key and click on the mount icon and paste it here. Now go to main comp, drag text 1 comp into the timeline, search fill effect, and change fill color black. Also turn on 3D icon, and move the layer close to brush. Rotate the layer and resize according to brush. Now search drop shadow effect. Opacity 30%. Distance around 15. And softness 20. Now create a new composition. I call this line element. Select Bend Tool, Stroke 10 Pixel. And create a stroke like this. Turn on 3D icon. Now open Shape Layer, then Stroke, and add dashes. You can adjust the dash. Now add trim paths. Open trim paths, go to first frame and add a keyframe on start. And start amount 100%, then go to around 10 seconds forward and change start amount 0%. Also rotate the layer like this. Cool. Now go to main comp and drag line element comp into the timeline, and turn on 3D. Move the layer below to media to layer. And adjust left side of the comp. Also move the Z position, behind our main image. Cool. Now duplicate the layer and adjust right side of the comp.
Now create a new composition. Width around 700 pixels. I call this writing comp. Now drag writing image into the timeline. Resize according to the comp. Now search tint effect. And change map black to white color. Now select pen tool and create a stroke like this. Increase the stroke size, until our text fully covered with stroke. Now open shape layer and add trim path. Open trim paths. Change end amount 0% and add a keyframe. Then go to 1 and half second forward, and change end amount 100%. Now select shape layer and search rough and edges effect. Scale around 45. Stretch width or height 30. Complexity 10. And increase border around 100. Select bottom layer and change track matte alpha matte. Perfect. Now drag writing comp into the timeline. Turn on 3D icon, and move Z position, behind the main image. And adjust left side of the comp. Duplicate the layer and adjust right side of the comp. Now we need to animate our composition, so create a camera. I am using 50mm preset camera. Now create a null layer, turn on 3D icon, parent camera with null layer. Go to first frame and add a keyframe on position. And move Z position close to camera around 3000 pixels. Then go to around 8 to 9 seconds forward, and move Z position, back side around 1500 pixels. Now create one more null layer. Also parent first null layer with second null layer. Now open position and rotation. Also turn on 3D icon, and add a keyframe on position, then go to around 3 second forward, and move the Z position, back side of the comp. Then again go to one and half second forward, and add a keyframe. Then again go to one second, and move Z position close to the camera. Perfect. Now go to first frame, and add a keyframe on Z rotation, change rotation plus 25 degrees. Then go to few seconds forward and change Z rotation. You can adjust the rotation value according to you. Perfect. Now select media to layer, and search fast blur effect. Go to around 2 seconds forward. 
and add a keyframe on blur radius, then go to 1 and half second forward, and change blur radius. And check repeat edge pixels. Now copy fast blur effect, and paste it on media 3 layer. And adjust the keyframes. Now open camera layer, and increase focus distance, so that our main image look more clear. Perfect. Now move brush layer around 2 second forward. Similarly move the text one layer also. Now select both writing layers, and move around two and half second forward. Now go to first frame, open camera layer, and add keyframe on blur level, and increase blur amount. Then go to few frame forward and decrease blur amount little bit. Then again go to few frame forward, and decrease blur amount little bit. Again go to few frame forward, and change blur level 100%. Perfect. Now drag light leak footage into the timer line. And change layer mode screen. Now drag micro dirt footage into the timer line. Change layer mode screen. Now create an adjustment layer. And search curves effect. And adjust your curves. Perfect, our animation has done. Hit zero for ender. Thanks for watching, I hope you like the video, so please, like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel, for more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.